Hey love bugs, it's Riles and Mac at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning self, my grown, extended, beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos, you know for a while i have not already please drop a line i would love a chance to get, you know get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and you know i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video i'm sending all love and light to everybody knowing that my essence my image and my account and my videos are highly protect, protected anything that goes against it will be rejected so whatever you're coming through just make sure it's positive you know uplifting if you're coming in for you know bad intentions or hidden motives trying to get in Hey, it's going to go right back 10 times stronger. So, the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka is cracking the codes that guide you to find out you're the hidden code. It is. It's true. You know, um, there's a lot of times, you know, you're reading in codes. You know, the more you allow yourself to stay open towards the universe to, uh, you know, just, you know, embody all different uh you know, understandings, learnings, teachings, you know, uh, through day-to-day -day life, you know, through healing, acceptance, you know, forgiveness, you know, releasing, cutting cords, all those different things. And you start finding out, you know, you were the missing piece, you know, because it was just like, you know, I'll be having these, you know, different visions and stuff like that. And, you know, and it's just the way I have it. It's just like I'm seeing so many uh, people walking. It's just I'm trying to get y'all into that image of knowing what I see. And it's just like, you know, um, I'll be having these times like now since we're going through all these portals and Lionsgate. This is worse than what happened last year, especially the age of Aquarius. When I say I don't know what is hitting new peers and tears and stuff like that, I'm like, oh, my God. They didn't give us a warning label for that, you know. And you really start seeing things at a higher level, especially when you're allowing yourself to be open. And I tell anybody, when you allow yourself, you know, because a lot of times we place resistance and change, um, acceptance, healing, acknowledgement, and stuff like that. It builds some kind of barrier. But when you're allowing yourself to stay open and the universe is seeing that you're moving out of your own way um, to be able to allow yourself to really see what's being seen. You know, this is something you were built for. This is what you were designed for. And, you know, there's a lot of people, you know, we can just look at the world. And it's like, like if we're in a galaxy, you know, I've said this before. You know, I get different visions of what is showing me what's taking place in other people. And you're just seeing people coming out of the dirt. That means you're coming out of darkness. You're, you're finally accepting the fact that I'm a warrior. Now I'm trying to understand and find out what is my mission uh, of what I need to do, you know, finding out what my purpose is. You have to go through some line of trauma, you know, well, not everybody, because some people just, you know, their their switch is just switched on, their gift switch comes on, it's like, okay, there's something more I need to know about myself, there's something more that, you know, I feel like I'm different from other people, why do I have these deeper understandings, why I have these deeper, you know, feelings and stuff like that. And it's like when you're seeing it, it's like I'm seeing people coming out of the dirt, but then I see some people walking and all of a sudden that old light comes up from over them. You're getting some kind of epiphany, you know, going through some kind of nostalgia, take you back to exact moment and you will see something. You may have, you know, it could have been simple, you know, it could have been something simple and it could have, you know, went past you. And if when you are woke, it will be something that, you know. There's so many different things that come to you, but you aren't ready to see that yet. You weren't in that position to have that power play, that real powerful power play that was coming into you when you were like, whoa. And you'll start seeing different things of what is taking place. You know, it's just like, you know, um, it's like, say you have a favorite movie. You've been drawn to that movie. You watch it so many times. And it's just like when you finally become awoke, awoke You'll start seeing that movie like, whoa, this was giving me so many Easter eggs and it was preparing me for what, you know, for what it is yet to come into my life that I need to know about. You know, and I tell people that this is the way universe, you know, that language, the finding language, understanding language, the depth of desires of definitions of you and different, you know, levels and different, you know, frequencies that you had to learn this. And it's just like, you know, you were the missing link. You know, everything that we come against to contact with is always, re you know, redirecting us towards ourselves in some kind of way. You know, all they always say, whatever we're looking for is our, already ours. We're just going into alignment to be able to be able at that level to be able to appreciate that, you know, handle it with care. 
because this is something that's very powerful. You're not going through things just to be going through things, just to be going through them. You know, God didn't take you as far as he did just to leave you there. It's, it's presenting something for you. It's just like when you're going through life, you know, you go through ups and downs. You go through some very hard lessons, through trauma, you know, through some stuff that really shook you. You know, and you're just trying to understand, you know, there's so many different things that's trying to stand in my way for me to really understand what is it so important. Because a lot of times we, that's what the devil wants us to do. This is what darkness wants us to do. These harbingers and all this stuff is coming out. That it wants to create that barrier to where, you, you know, it'll create a void to keep you in that loop. And you, you stepping out of that, you know, because there's a lot of times when you start. I notice like when I start clearing a lot and I feel that space is open, it make me nervous. <laughs> you know, like why are you getting nervous? Cause I don't know what the hell you about to put in there to, to, to take that place. And it's just like, you'll notice like certain things will go on. Like you, you probably put yourself in a loop about different things that really hurt you. And you keep taking yourself down that, that path. You're not realizing when you're opening that door, God try to close that door. That's why they tell you, when, if that door closed, don't open that. Don't stand in the way. You know, there's something so much better. If something's being taken in its place, it's going to be, you know, instilled with something better. And you're you're allowing yourself to see these different things when you allow yourself to step in your growth. You know, never dimming your light. You know, allowing yourself to be on that throne. You, we are all in our own kingdom. And you're placing that because it'll show you how smart you really are. Because there'll be people that will see that light in you and try to make you dumb it down dot com. Let me talk to you in idiot proof. You know, be different things like this and not realizing you hold... You know, be be like the gift of gab or whatever they want to call it. And you'll see how much power you hold. You know, different things is coming up. You know, um, it, it was just like me growing up. I, I've always had these gifts where, you know, my mom was impact, my sister was too. Um, and they would always see things where, I, you know, where I would talk, you know, be four years old and be talking like I'm about 30. You know, my mom was like, oh, she's old soul. She's been here before. And it's just like the way I would say things is not, she's like, she ain't normal. You know, I said, what do you mean she normal? You know, it's just like the way she keeps talking about things. It's not what a child at her age should be talking about. She shouldn't know these things. You know, even though you may keep things from me, I knew. Even though it wasn't making sense to me, but my mom, like if I would say something, she would know exactly what I was talking about. But it would be at that time where, you know, when it was around her husband, he didn't like stuff like that. You know, you feel like if you can't touch it, taste it, or see it, or whatever, it don't exist. I don't believe in all that stuff like that. You know, and it'll be different times where, you know, you God will use you for that tool for you to, you know, you gonna make them a believer that day. You know, if you start to, you know, you know different things like that. So it had to be able, you know, I was prone to that where if I talked about stuff like that, I would get punished. If I was talking like that for me, knowing the di different things that I knew and they knew I was telling the truth about it, they're trying to figure out how would she know stuff like that. They won't admit it, but they were like, how do you know that? Wow, what? It's like, oh, the voice in the head, you know, tell me so, you know, be different things that I have to project and those shake them, you know? And so, you know, when you're doing those different things, you were that hidden coat. You know, it was like you were placed in there. It's just like we go through our own lines of matrix. You're seeing all these different things is coming out, you know. And it'll be different times where you're being guided, where you will be drawn, you know. Uh, you might, might have different times where you're drawn to hieroglyphs, you know, different things where you, you're wanting to have a deeper understanding of that. You know how they say, you know, we're, we're going to be... Uh, changing the way we communicate you know through emojis which is some sort of hieroglyph you know be short term you know everybody using acronyms B B R B or lmao you know different stuff like that and, you, and you're shortening it and it's just like the more you become uncovered you're starting to uncover things and these things are uh allowing you to see you know the different understandings you know it's just like with us we you know if we're all together if we're woke we have certain terms that we got like we'll be in you know hidden in plain sight and we'll be talking about something but if people are not on that level of understanding we can code like right in front of people they were like oh, okay they talking on language i don't know what they're doing and we don't realize we 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 doing a power play and you know you're doing different stuff like that and it'll be moving on to the next level because you'll start seeing different things that's showing you and it'll be you know, it'll be that way. This is just, just like I tell people, you know, whatever your interests are, you know, the things that you, you know, you uh, that really get, your, get you to what you do in your pastime. If you watch movies, there'll be a lot of movies that are, uh, you know, coming in to be able to show you different things that you may be, 
you know, you may be coming in connection with or different things that understand. Because it's just like when I see it now, it's mind-blowing to me. Because there's a lot of things that, you know, they put out on TV or these different movies that's coming out. And it holds a strong line of truth. And people are like, oh, that don't exist and don't exist. You know, we be in a conversation, you know, where people are like, oh, there's no such thing as mermaids and fairies and, you know, uh, aliens and stuff like that. I'm like, okay. It, but you have to understand, you know, you, don't, you certain things you think is, you know, extinct and they're not. You know, I tell people real quick, go to Antarctica. You be finding so many different things. That it's like people, you know, it's like, you know, it, it, it's, it's colder than um, Santa Claus butt up there. I, I be damn, I ain't going up there. I ain't lost nothing up in there. It's too cold. My body will go into shock. It won't go into shock, but it will be going into shock. I don't go places like that. But there are so many different things where we have not been on every inch of the world to know what is hidden there. You know, people are like, oh, you know, just like, you know, I was telling somebody the other day, I said the megalodons are still out there. And that's the scary thing about it. Like, girl, you think so? It, just because you don't see them, they're not there. They could be hidden on the, you know, Earth's core, you know. Be different things like that, you know, and it just be to me. I was like, I wish people. One thing I wish, these, you know, and there's no disrespect towards the, you know, government and all that stuff. But it's just certain things scientists need to quit playing with. You know, I see you over here messing around with all this prehistoric stuff. If we were meant to be living in the same age as dinosaurs, reptiles, and stuff like that, I'm like, man, have you not seen Jurassic Park? Have you not seen Godzilla? Have you ever seen these different things? You see how we, we cannot be in the same sequence at the same times. That's very dangerous. You know, I don't want to be nothing where I'm. my body is the same size as their eye and they, everything else bigger than me. Because I'm like, Lord, let me just die right now. You know, because I say I love uh, Godzilla and um, the movies on Jurassic Park. But I'm like, Lord, look, <laughs> and this is not, you know, I'm like, man, look, if y'all don't take heed to what's being shown to you. But it's just like you go on all these different things, you know. And it's really there, you know, and people are just like always, oh, you know, they don't have those things. And I, I you know, I'll be getting into somebody's head, I'll be talking deep. So where do you think they be coming up with these things? You know, where they come out with, uh, 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 you know, artificial intelligence. This stuff has been going on for a long time past our knowledge. You just don't know about it. You know, about these, you know, vampires and, you know, werewolves and stuff down there. Because there's people that have those traits like that. You know, it could be something that they can hold a line of truth, but they, you know, enhance it a little bit to sound more interesting. Or there's people running around here with abnormalities where they have, you know, full body of hair. There, I mean, there's people being interviewed like that, you know, and different things like this. So it's just like, you know, people are like, oh, this is, you know, this is science fiction. No, I say anything that's false, it has a line of truth. And anything that's true have a lot, you know, have a line of lies in it to it. But there'll be different things that you are interested, you know, for the universe to prepare you, you know, because you can just sit here and watch different things. And, um, uh, what is it? Uh, you watch different things and you, you know, if you're not woke, it's like, oh, you know, but it'll be something. And when you woke, it's like, why am I drawn to want to watch this movie? You know, you probably got a movie you watch like 20, 30 times. And then when you get woke, it, 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 it has a whole different meaning to it. You know, I used to love, you know, Exorcist, you know, watching that at nine. My mom was like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you watching stuff like this? That girl head done went 360 and spitting up sweet pea soup and, smell, you know, sounded like she done sit up here and chain smoke about 100 cigarettes a day. Why are you listening to this? And I'm like, I don't know. You know, I really don't know. But it was just like growing up and start seeing these different things. I've always been drawing to movies like that, you know, and it's just like the stuff that come out with Matrix, you know. Uh what else now they got a new movie called harbinger and i mean when i say my heart almost leaped out of my chest because this is something you see every day there'll be some people if you're you know on that you know on that that spiritual level to where you can see certain things people used to think i was crazy i said it's okay because it'll be certain things that you know when people want to contradict that it'll be different things that, you know universe or spirit will let me know and i'll tell it to them and it'll shake them or they get scared and don't want to talk to me no more because like how does she knew that because I know, you know, it's just like if God made us, you know, you you can't understand, you know, different things, that, other things it made. Just a lot of things that you just don't know, you know. And it'll be things that you notice that just don't sit right. But you know, government be trying to sit up here and project the illusion to keep us, you know, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, what is it that you know they'll be doing? I can't find a word for it, but they'll have you uh, distracted 
towards different things. It was just like I was telling people, we were like a couple of months ago, and they weren't getting what I was putting down. And I was telling them, you know, when this stuff started happening, you know, I wish I could remember what video it was because it was on chat. I was doing a um, YouTube, you know, chat live, um, Hey Yoka. And they were like, Rosalind, we don't understand what you're saying. You know, what is it? Because there's a lot of things that, you know, I'll put out and it hasn't happened yet. Next, you know, people call me like, Rosalind, you, you said it. Next, you know, look what happened. You know, and I told them it was like, I forgot it was one movie I was watching. And it was something about, uh, it was like this this uh, priest or something like that. And they were doing dark magic. And it was supposed to be for some sacrifice. And then when I started looking at that, when I said all hair stood up, I was like, wait a minute. Because this is around the time when they had that situation in Gulf of Mexico with the, the fire and stuff like that. And I'm looking like, okay. You, you trying to tell me in the middle of the ocean, probably the deepest part of the ocean, you done had an oil spill and they've been burning like that for the last couple of days. Okay, I heard you when you lied the first time. They were like, what you mean? What? A ocean burning. Now you tell me where the heck that make that make sense. You know, and it just gave me this gut feeling. And so, you know, when I started, you know, reading about this stuff, it was like Leviathan. You talking about, you know, that three-headed serpent, you know, they, they tried to rule the world. It was something about uh, how they sacrificed and no disrespect towards anybody who, you know, who's Hebrew, you know, do Hebrew or Jewish or anything like that. There's no disrespect, but it was just like how they sacrificed them. It was a genocide, you know, and it was just like mass, you know, it was like people sacrificing a lot of people. And it was just like, if you notice around that time when all those different things was happening and they were like, you didn't want to believe me. I said, I'm telling you, something something came out of that water and that was just something they didn't want to have world panic. So they were trying to get rid of it before that, that thing became a problem. Okay. You know, it became a problem. And it was like, you know, when they were, we were just talking about it and I'm just like, y'all yeah, believe that if y'all want to, you know, because when I started reading up on the thing, it came out of Gulf of Mexico and it was like, what, what was the name of the gas company? Leviathan. Okay. And next, you know, when that mess came off, all of a sudden they had, the, uh, I forgot where it was, over there overseas, um, where they had the genocide at. All of a sudden that mess was like clockwork. I said, see, this happened like many billions of years ago. Now they're about to repeat history because that thing that came up and I said they used 40, two, 40, 40 ton bombs in that ocean and it still didn't kill it. So whatever that was in there, even, you know, people started doing con con uh, conspiracy theories. And they were saying the same thing. It's like, oh, they had some kind of Godzilla type thing that came out. Because why are you using two 40-ton uh, bombs to uh, sort of blow up in there? And you couldn't kill off whatever it was. Something came out of Earth floor because as soon as that happened, all of a sudden those you know, hurricanes start coming up. You know, earthquakes start coming up at, at different times and stuff like that. Because when we start disrupting and, you know, the, the Earth core start moving like that, it's going to cause some you know, natural disasters to start parting, parting out like like it's going to be calculated and be different things like that. When you open your mind, you got to be, you know, you see a lot of different things. You know, they had like back in my day, I was 70s baby, so they had V to find a battle. I think it was V, you know, it would have, uh, what's his name, Robert England playing on there and it used to scare the mess out of me and they'd be looking like humans and they got reptilian stuff up under there. You know, all those different things. Hell, we walk around here and you see them different, you know, TikTok shows and stuff like that and you seeing them where, you know, their eyes are blink this way and stuff like that. I see you surprised. Government already know they don't probably been eight spoon coons and they go back like four flats. <laughs> as long as we don't see them. You know, be different things like that. But there's so many different truths that's coming out where you have to be able to find out you were that missing code. You had to go through all these lines of experiences in life. You had to be able to solve the issues that many couldn't do. You are having to walk a path that many people would have retreated from. But that showed you this is a part of your your lineage. This is a part of your rite of passage. You're, you're doing these things. Because there's a lot of people that are starting to have these memories. Like you're going, to, uh, going through meditation and you're drawn to Egypt. You know, there's something about the pyramids you want to keep looking at. Or there will be different things. You know, I had friends that, you know, lived over in Egypt. I always was drawn there. You know, be seeing, you know, different past lives and stuff like that. Because since we're all, you know, we got different, you know, us, you know, movie us, they, you know, in different parallel uh, universes. And you, you have a different side to you that's merging. And I tell people, they're like starting to notice, like, you'll start having memories of places you've never been. Or you start having phobias that you never had. You'll be, you know craving certain foods that you just don't eat. And it's just like we're all merging together. Whatever it is, is powerful. 
of us to be able to do this. It just can't take just us. You know, you got all these ton of reinforcements is coming through and you shift it. And that's the reason why everything is so intense right now. You have to really, you know, it's just like certain things you've been holding on to for so long. They're telling you, hey, you know, we understand this is something very tragic in your life, but it comes to a time where you won't have to release that. That exact, you know, issue is what got you as far as you are now. But now you're writing a new chapter in life. Matter of fact, it ain't no new chapter. It's a whole new book. You have to have a whole, whole new um outlook on life a whole new you know you vibing on a language you have not yet discovered to speak and so when you're doing that you're cracking codes and you find out you were that missing code you were the weak you know you ain't the weakest link but you were the missing link you know and you're finding out these things you know universe you know it's just things different around there they make you uh they want to keep you dumbed down you know they want to keep you docile they want you to keep ignorant towards different things but now when you're starting to know you're like, nah, I, I'm, I'm going to keep on feeding my food of thought. You, I'm going to keep nourishing that. You know, I want to be able to learn more. I want to be able to, able to get out of that. There are some people that are okay with just being, but you weren't one of those people. You have to be able to explore because these are certain things that you're not just teaching yourself. You're teaching other people. This is a part of your legacy. So you're starting to see things in a different way. You're starting to vibe on things differently. And these are the different things that's educating you. It's like food for thought, nourishment to your soul. This is soul food. You know, and these are the different things. It's like, wow, you know, this, you know, the vibe they're giving me is so much deeper than, you know, I was, you know, anticipating. And you're doing that because so many things is coming to you to give you that alert. You know, a lot of things right now you're going through and it'll feel like deja vu because you already had a plan. You already did this in a different, you know, a different cycle. You already did this in a different, you know, entity, a different, you know, vibe, door, you know whatever it is and it's just like all these different things is coming in is being very intense you know just like certain people i was like it throwed me the other day i forgot which one i was looking at um where they said like we died all of us died in like 2012 because there'll be certain things around that time you just do not remember and i was like dang you know what <laughs> you know that sounds crazy but a lot of times truth is stranger than fiction you know they were legend oh no it ain't really happening okay you know, be going around, what's what's going on? Why all of a sudden we don't have coins? Who the heck, where the world do we stop having? We running on a shortage of coins. What you using it for? There are certain things that you're trying to understand. There is no way. That's just like we're running out of money in the world. Where, where are we running out of change for? And all of a sudden different places. Just like I said, like two, three years ago. You, you'll start seeing, you know, now they got the monkey pox. I don't know if they're about to have the gorillas in the mist pox. You know, uh, serpent pox. All this other crazy stuff that's coming around, you know, there's different things. I you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that mess tied into the daggone shots they've been giving folks. You know, and I'm like, I'm not nobody's daggone guinea pig. And I've been around a lot of people that COVID now I never caught it. You know, and there must be a reason for that. You know, and there'll be different things that's popping off right now that has abnormalities and they'll be thrown off on some kind of sickness this is going on. But it's just like to me, I am old, you know, uh I really am not trying to make sure I say something that's going to get me hemmed up. But it is just like we are overcrowded. And just put it that way. You let your mind go ahead and do that. We are very overcrowded. And we just like just different times like where in certain places that uh, hurricanes done popped off at. And there are pretty much some higher ups that already knew certain places like that. It was going to only time can tell when certain things like that happened. And they knew it and didn't say nothing. Because certain places in the world, in certain states, is highly populated. And just what do you do? You start, you telling people at last minute, hey, you got to go. And a lot of people ain't going to make it through that because it's like trying to dial down, you know, population. We over here, you know, multiplying. And it's like the world, they, they trying to get rid of anything and everything, you know, to put an even trade in. And that's how I feel about it. I may be wrong, may be right, but I just maybe look at it like, mm hmm, y'all knew about this. Y'all gonna say y'all didn't know and, and, and all y'all want to, but I knew y'all knew about this way before time. Y'all could have planned this a long time ago. All of a sudden, these different things is popping off where you know lives is just being lost left and right, left and right, and different things. It's just you know when I did my video about the ear ringing, and I was just you know just talking in universe say hey talk about that virus. I said you know when they trying to do a huge, a huge distracting watch because it's just like the crazy stuff like the with the Zika virus and uh, Ebola you only heard about it for like about a month or two next thing you know it was gone you hear nothing else it's like, okay what they trying to distract us from 
you know, and it's going to be another one. And, you know, just talking out the side of my neck. And next thing you know, didn't realize I talked to the daggone pandemic. You know, and different things like that. You see that. And it's just like we have it every couple of years. You know, these different things is taking place. You know, that is like, it, it is leveling off, leveling off civilization. You know, different things is unleveling off where you can go in certain parts of the world. And, you know, uh, like, I think it was Sire, I can't remember where it is where there's different holes that's coming up in the world and people be going there and the place has been set on fire like for years at a time you know just from you know uh, unlevel within you know certain towns it you know had radiation all these different things is coming in where it may not make sense but if you woke you on oh okay that's what y'all doing what are you doing i don't know you'll find out when you need to you know i ain't about to open that door and you'll see the different things that's coming on because you were that missing code to do that you're cracking codes and you'll come to find out because it's like when i see it that mess is like so deep it, it remind me of the defense code when you start opening up stuff and i'm like damn deep i'm drowning in <laughs> drowning in knowledge you know and it'll be like hey you know and all those different things because you'll start noticing it's just like all these things are happening but it's like before it happened you're seeing a lot of movies predicting maybe what happened you know people watch the simpsons and you're going through all this stuff and you'll start seeing like wait a minute you know just you know then i showed this and next you know five ten years you know come up and i'll say i still be you know crazy you know be thinking how the heck they do that but you know certain things come up where you start seeing they just start showing different things like before it happens and you all of a sudden it plays out like that there's some people that know just like there's a lot of people that scared of Notre Dame. my sister used to talk about that stuff i started going death mute on her like hey i don't want to hear that <laughs> you know that's so scary you know i want to hear that but there's a lot of different things when you know you're a deep thinker and you wide awake you'll start oh this been coming into play you know, it was just they move, you know, it'd be like a game of chess and they just moving it like that. It's just a lot of things, you know, that's going around and they know they got to make a silent movement. So if they want to be able to make a silent movement and they don't want us to be able to, you know, catch that, they're going to put out a, a scare. You know, we're going to be like, you're going to be sitting up here moving a daggone missile through there and they can't see that. You know, it's like, what you want to do? Hey, <laughs> Godzilla, you know, uh, you know uh, King Kong over there on the actual tower, we can look. And you'll be looking like this, like, okay, come on, let's move. And you'll start noticing different things that's coming on. Or, you know, you won't notice you hearing different stuff like that. Like I said, Ebola, uh, uh, what was it, Ebola, you know, uh, Zika virus and all this different stuff. Now, they, they, I want to be called meningitis, you know, the mumps, you know, infantile stuff, you know, stuff that came out from years ago. All of a sudden, going to start popping up, you know, because I'm like, why does that feel that that has something to do with them daggone shots they've been getting everybody you know this could be like a side effect everything got a side effect to it you know what I mean? it just make me think i'm not trying to say they did that but i'm just saying you know it'll be different things that you're seeing that a lot of times they'll be shook like how do they know that you know and it'll be just like you know even people that are on the spectrum whether you're an adult on the spectrum or you have a child on the spectrum, it's just like they're their sign of alarm. That's that's God's little secret. And I always tell people that, you know, there it may be, you know, you go through different things because it's like I never had that, but I've known people that have children like that. And I'm just like, I don't want to talk about something I don't know. But these are the visions that I get. And then it's like I'll go to talk to somebody and like, hey, did your child just start doing it? You know, because it could be the ones that got Asperger's and stuff like that. Or the ones that just don't talk. They're more, you know, hands-on than they do communicate through words. And it'll be all of a sudden they go through a strong shift. And it's like, yeah, they did something out of the ordinary and this and this happened. What's going on? Is Do I got to work? No. But this is at that time to prepare for change for you because it's like they'll know before we do just because of how rapid their mind works. And it's just like, you know, and I was just like, how am I going to be able to describe this if I never, you know, I don't want to be a hypocrite and be trying to say I know this and this and that. I'm going off the visions that I have. And it's just I'll go to somebody who has children like that or they are adults like them. Like, hey, did you start feeling this? Like, dad, how did you know? I was like, I don't know. I'll just come back and I'm just, you know, seeing this, you know, the information that was, you know, vibing towards me if that's what is going on you know i'm trying to make sure this is what i'm saying you know saying so you know i'll be honestly telling people i i don't know you know i got add my dad got add you know different things like that see i got cptsd and all those different things is going on you know so i know how mine is you know i'll jump from subject to subject to subject like oh what you were just up here talking about roller coaster now you're talking about flying monkeys what the heck you know i'm like hey you got to keep up 
got to keep on you got to keep up jump through timelines but these are the different things that will start opening towards you only a select few will be able to see what's going on before it takes place you know and different things like that and it, it's just like certain things that I can have a private conversation with and people like her just blow my mind when you be telling me stuff like that and just send something you know I'll be mad because I'm like dad I deleted that whole conversation I wish I would have screenshotted that so you know it can be that proof that was there but um it'll be different things that I would see and then, you know I said I wouldn't be surprised this happened you know and it's just like to me I feel like all these little tests I said I'm nobody guinea pig if I ain't start feeling that, you know, and God destruct me, you know, universe tell me to, hey, go take that. I'm not about to take that. You know, I was like, I've been around too many people that had the corona, and I ain't got it, you know. And there was a reason for that, you know. But there will be different things that, you know, I'm just like, I wonder if it has something to do now with these, you know, these these shots and these injections they're giving folks. And they want to sit up here and throw that off on something that are very deadly because they don't want to be held responsible. I said, that kind of crossed my mind. But I'm just like, I don't know. But that, I mean, it wouldn't be surprised, you know. Because it's just a lot of times, you know, when people mess up, they don't want to say whoops. You know, oh, let me get, you know, just now is the truth. And yeah, you know, something had a side effect to it. You know, a lot of people say, I'm not about to take that. If, you know, if this is not happening to me, I'm not going to put my life online because I'm not your tech subject. I'm not about to do that. But it's just certain things that you're starting to see. The more you wake up, now you're starting to see things that was in plain sight that people wouldn't pay attention to. You know, just like they say, you know, the devil be talking about all the precious ones that, that God has that um is taking place to be able to, uh, you know, that is really close to him. You know, he's very precious for it. He's going to hide it. Now, that's when God already knew he was about a million times steps ahead of you. I'm going to put them in plain sight just because the fact is you you already think it's something that precious to me. You know, it's going to be hidden, but it will be hidden in plain sight. You wouldn't even be expecting it. That's the reason why. There was like one of the many reasons why when um, it's kind of like hybrid um, Hayokas. It's just the fact is you if you, you go way back towards, you know, um, ancestral text, you know, they have these certain characteristics. And it's just like when we moving on enemy lines. We have we cannot, you know. They'll be looking like they'll be looking at you, you know. And if you don't go by the characteristics, they'll be like you just you know average Joe. You don't know what you do, and that's exactly why God picked you that way, you know. It could be a person, a little person, and got spirit and power of a giant shaman, but they put it in this little person, you know. People that you know stunt growth. They only you know. So I'm trying to be politically correct and not disrespect nobody, you know. And they're that way. Or it could be a person that is born without a, a certain appendage, you know, different things like that. And you're the most powerful one. You know, I knew somebody like that. And they don't, you know, they only had one hand, the other one was, you know, formed in a certain way. And I said, you know that? People are gonna think that's a handicap, but that's your biggest strength. It's like, what you mean? I thought all your power go through that one that was, you know, is born different. It's not saying it in a negative way, but this is where your power is at. It could be, you know, you have one leg. And that one right there is going to be drawn through, you know, your most power. And I always told him, you know, hey, you, you got that hand. Don't ever let nobody touch the hand. <laughs> don't do that. You know, a, even if people want to be curious like that, don't let them touch that hand. You know, it's like vibes be through handshakes, hugs. Now everybody you supposed to have that kind of, you know, close encounter with you. Got, some people got to keep from way distance because energy transfers like that. But these are the different things you're going to be learning throughout life. You know, the more you tend to heal, the more you stay focused on your growth, on what you're supposed to be doing as a light worker, a torchbearer, you know, a warrior, all shape, forms, and matters. You, you know, everything's going to start intensifying. It's like right now, like I said in the other video, you know, I seen a, I mean, when I say a hit to the death, it, it like shook me, not shook me to like where it was scary or something like that, but it was like very powerful when we're seeing ourselves like moving you know moving through darkness and I mean it's like nothing ain't phasing us it's like it kind of remind me anybody ever seen Twilight <laughs> you know and it's just like all the wolves and you notice it was Native American and it's kind of like how we represent you know we moving fast you know and then when you move fast you have everybody had different you know different headdress different you know articles of you know clothing different stuff like that different jewelry you know for different protections or what you represent where you know if a different um tribe came in they already knew you know if it ain't word for mouth it's just your appearance they already knew where your level is set at 
And so when you're moving like that, you got that different, you know, pain on you. And you're moving next, you know, you got one with a wolf. You know, one with a uh, uh, a lion, one with a lioness, one with a cougar, one with a panther. One with, you know, it could have like, you know, wolf, panther, you know, cougar. And then next thing you know, you got an owl or, or an eagle coming over you. They already know this is what you represent and this is what follows behind you and keeps you in that alignment accordingly. This is what's protecting you. So it's like a lot of us have these strong, you know, uh, spirit totems that are representing us is helping us move to that next level. And there's a lot of us that move strongly move to that next level and don't even realize that. But when you start having these rituals, it's like when I know when we go through a powerful shift or it's something that the ancient ones want me to see to be able to project towards a certain extent. Because a lot of things, you you know, just for, you know, respect, you know, because it is sacred. They will allow you to know certain things and it's like you need to move accordingly because I heard phase one. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, like phase one and that's all you need to know. The right ones have been studying. They're going to know what it is. You know, or they say phase two. You know, and I'm just like, okay. And I'm just, you know, I respect that because I said when it's meant for me to know, it'll find me. I ain't got to go looking for it. It'll find me. You know, and you're doing that. And it's just like a lot of our chiefs and, you know, the thunder beings and, you know, the watch, the watchers, the shamans and stuff like that. You, you are there. And the ritual, and it's like some kind of flame, it went blue. You know, and I'm just like, what the hell? You know, what is going on? It's like, you'll find out. You know, because there's a lot of people that have grown up about that. And it's just like, when you say certain words, or you see a certain symbol, you already know. You handle that accordingly. Not everybody needs to know that announcement or what it means. But the right people are going to know what that means. And you are the part of that code. You know, because there'll be different things where I see that people have been, you know, they they were raised on on that when they were able to, they weren't even probably, you know, barely crawling yet before they started teaching them these these teachings they needed to know. And it would be a lot of us it had that instilled. And they were like, tag, you know, they've been trying to test me. I'm like, look, this is what's going on. I'm not trying to claim something I'm not. This was passed down to me. I didn't ask for that. I'm not disrespecting nobody because I, uh-uh. <laughs> I don't do that. Because I already know you, you start lying and telling certain things about it, especially on some shamans. Are you out your dad on mine? <laughs> especially, you know, Native Americans. You don't want to do that. You know, we watch a whole lot of horror movies. You see what happened at <laughs> there on Edmondville. When you sit up here taking some stuff that don't belong to you. You don't want to play with Mother Nature. You don't want to do that with the ancient ones. You don't want to do that because I'm not trying to be hook, line, and sinker. That is not something I want to do. You had me in the valley of torture. I'm not doing that. You know, so I've, you know, I respect that and I handle it accordingly. You know, the people that know, they'll know. If you don't, it wasn't meant for you to know. But these are the things when you find out you are that missing code. You know, you're un you're decoding a lot of things that you had to go towards a certain length, a certain destination for you to be open and shed light on who you truly are. And, you know, you'll find that out. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video. I would love to give a post notification out. Uh, shout out to a new soul member, uh, Sabrina. Thank you for uh, dropping a line and, you know, welcome to the fam. Um, uh, I leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. Just give you a deeper understanding about your path purpose, why certain things happen, or you just wanting to share certain with things with me and say, hey, is this normal? I always tell people, we're hybrids. There's nothing normal about us. <laughs> so don't feel like you're being signaled out. It, when, you, when these things are not the ordinary, that means you were supposed to stand out you know, to create something even better. So, you know, I love to be able to connect with y'all on those different things. You know, I help out the best way I can. And, you know, whatever we speak on is confidential. So even if you're wanting to, you know, listen to podcasts or you're interested in podcasts, now also lay my um my podcast uh uh segments on the community page if you ever wanting to listen to those. It's not like the same thing that if I put here, but it's just different content that I use, but it's pretty much around the same thing. But you know, it's different subjects and stuff like that. You know, um and whatever you're working on in your manifestations, I'm sending you so many beautiful vibes, whatever it is that you're willing to do, that you're needing, that's going to uh, make you further your, your destination on that. I know whatever, everything that we're trying to manifest is not something that's easy to do. And, you know, a lot of times when we're facing a lot of hardship, you know, you're going through spiritual warfare, a lot of things, black magic, to where they're putting up barriers to make sure you don't hit those pinnacles. Whatever you're needing, I'm sending that towards your way a million times fold. Because if you worked hard for it, I believe you should truly have that, you know. So um, I'm sending that love towards you this way, and I hope you're out having a blessed, safe weekend. Please be safe and responsible at every single thing you do. Uh, never sleep on yourself to stay woke. You know, the devil will do anything he can to make you doubt yourself. This is where you need to stay persistent and consistent. 
So whatever you're going on, God will make sure he provides, okay? So I hope you have a blessed day weekend. Please be responsible. You know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, live frequencies. You never know. That can really take somebody a long way. And just because you did that, uh, when looking for nothing in return, it's going to take you even further. So much love to you. Peace.